Good morning. Today is the inaugural session of Financial Econometrics. This is Vikramaditya Ghosh from Christ University, Bangalore, India. We will understand what is econometrics, what is financial econometrics, how this stream was developed over a period of time. So let's start the journey. So what is econometrics? Econometrics is the quantitative application of statistical and mathematical models using data to develop theories or test existing hypotheses in economics and to forecast future trends from historical data. It subjects real world data to statistical trials and then compares and contrasts the results against the theory or theories being tested so far. Depending on whether you are interested in testing an existing theory or in using an existing data to develop a new hypothesis on those observations, econometrics can be subdivided into two major categories, theoretical and applied. Those who routinely engage in the practice, they are called as econometricians. Now, we are going to practice the practical econometrics in the domain of finance which is called financial econometrics so we are going to test some existing theories and we are also trying to make out some new theories by large data crunching please remember here one point that if a new theory is being established that is called stylized fact and if an existing theory is being tested, that is called validation. Let's head into the first person who named this subject. His name, he was a Polish Russian scientist. His name was Pavel Siompa. Pavel Siompa's conception of econometrics is compared with the modern mainstream interpretation of the term that originated with. Ragnar Frisch, we will talk about Ragnar Frisch in uh, some time, and other members of the Econometric Society. Siompa was the first to use the German language term Oikonometry in 1910, 16 years prior to Frisch, who used the French equivalent Econometry. Siompa conceived of econometrics as being entirely descriptive. He considered it to be a set of tools for facilitating the conveyance of information in the fields of counting. In contrast, Frisch regarded it as a quantitative approach to economic theorizing, that is, as the unification of economic theory, mathematics and statistics, a justification for applying the later conception of economic Economics requires methodological and epistemological consideration, whereas applying the former conception is merely a matter of style. However, a satisfactory justification for applying econometrics is the commonly accepted sense is lacking and strong arguments against it have been brought forward among others by economists of the Austrian school. The argument that the constancy principle is not satisfied in the field of economics is illustrated by means of computer simulation. I conclude that modern economics should be pushed back towards the descriptive character that Powell Siompa originally attached to the term. So, there are theories, there are counter theories. The concept in a simple way is Siampa thought it is a descriptive study, whereas Ragnar Frisch, who is called the founding father of econometrics, he never thought it as a descriptive study. On the contrary, he tried to develop it as a mathematical interpretation and statistical inference of either economic data or existing economic theories or building up new economic theory with the help of lot of data churning and lot of application of mathematics and statistics at the same time. With a background, 
let's go to the nobel prize in 1969 it was a path breaking nobel prize it was the first nobel prize for economics which was given for econometrics to two scientists the norwegian ragnar frisch and the dutch scientist jan harbingen awarded annually since 1901 the nobel prize are preeminent among scientific awards by alfred nobel's testament there are three scientific prizes in physics chemistry and medicine further there is a literature prize and there is a peace prize it has often and rightly been said that the forceful and manifested scientific developments in the 20th century make an embarrass the riches when it comes to the selection of candidates for top awards and that the superb universal reputation of the nobel prize reflects favorably on the thorough procedures for selecting the nobel laureates by a recent donation from the bank of sweden on the occasion of the centenary an alfred nobel memorial prize in economic sciences has been established to be awarded annually by the same amount of testimony test, testamentary prizes for the first time in 1969 just as with physics chemistry and economics laureates are elected by the royal swedish academy of sciences in plenary session on the basis of nominations obtained from an international panel of specialists formed for the purpose and after preparatory evaluation work for the corresponding section of the academy economic sciences in the 20th century has made profound transition from qualitative to quantitative analysis from largely verbal theories to theoretical empirical model building where theories are developed in mathematical analytical terms and systematically tested by the use of statistical data it is a it is this epoch making transition from economics to econometrics that is saluted by the first alfred nobel memorial prize in economic sciences which was awarded to ragnar frisch and jan tinbergen being the leading pioneers they started early in research interestingly frisch was a mathematician and tinbergen was a physicist since the mid 1920s both have been permanently active in economic research permanently creative and both are full of activity they both gave the subject a face and a fate which was long lasting in fact ragnar frisch started the econometric society and he was the editor of econometrica for a great journal for almost 20 years after we come from the time of jan tinbergen and ragnar frisch we come to the world of robert ingel and clive granger these people have taken it further in the space of financial econometrics i have given a screenshot here the screenshot is the nobel award winning research paper this research paper in econometric of volume 55 issue 2 in published in march 1987 this particular research paper got a nobel prize shared by robert ingel and clive granger in the year 2003 and they identified co integration error correction and more interestingly granger invented granger causality so co integration and causality these two things the emphasis on unit root test which we have discussed later in our other videos and we have worked on all those videos these things the stationarity problem the finite variance problem all these problems these problems were worked on the financial data and the birth of financial econometric happened on march 1987 in the hands of robert ingel and clive granger please remember four keywords here co integration error correction granger causality and finite variance these are the fundamental cornerstone of the initiated ingel granger work on co integration and error correction representation estimation and testing 
in 1987. 2003 was far away, but they got the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2003 by the Royal Swedish Academy. So this particular video, I wanted to set up the expectation, set up the background, and set up the development of this particular subject, which has completed successfully 110 years. So it's not easy in such a short period of time to give a brief discussion about such a vast subject. However, this attempt is the beginning and then we will test all these things we will learn empirically on live data. Thank you very much and follow the videos.